Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy and the latest stock news updates. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, let's get right into today's video. As you can see on screen, the stock market has risen, considering that the NASDAQ, the S&P 500, and the Dow have all been performing very well lately. However, we did get some negative news in regards to Snowflake, which we did touch on in our last video. Essentially, investors are scared because Snowflake lowered their future revenue guidance and they also announced the retirement of their CEO. And that is what is causing Snowflake to drop by 18% in their share price. But like I said in the previous video, I am nibbling at this company because the cheaper I can buy Snowflake stock, the better in my opinion. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about Snowflake down below and if you personally hold it in your portfolio. Next, let's talk about some AI news. The artificial intelligence at human that you see on screen is going to be the newest humanoid on the block for artificial intelligence. Essentially, OpenAI wants to integrate their ChatGPT artificial intelligence into this humanoid robot, and it has garnered a lot of investors for this. The list of investors would include Microsoft, Nvidia, Intel, Amazon, and even Jeff Bezos' personal investment firm. Many other companies and investment firms have also been investing into this product because they want this to be implemented into work workplaces and homes across the world. Essentially, OpenAI wants to build a specialized artificial intelligence system through these humanoid robots to speak with people and do physical tasks. So this is a very interesting development. So if you've ever seen iRobot, it could be very similar to that, to where these robots would be doing work at workplaces and they could also be in your homes doing chores. So I would love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Speaking about artificial intelligence companies, we also have Tesla in the news, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer, and they also specialize in energy storage, energy generation as well as artificial intelligence. Tesla was co-founded by none other than Elon Musk and he is being sued by over 6,000 black factory workers over its quote-unquote alleged failure to address racism at a California plant. However, I don't think this lawsuit will gain any major traction and overall I think Tesla is a phenomenal company. So although this could create a small blip in their share price during the short term, over the long term Tesla still seems like a very good investment. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Next up I want to talk more about cruise stocks and just travel stocks in general because I really want investors to pay attention to this trend. Recently, Norwegian Cruise Line, which is the third largest cruise company, said that its annual sales surged by 32% from 2019. On top of that, they also swung to $166 million worth of profit after posting a $2 billion loss back in 2022. So currently, it looks like we are experiencing a large surge in cruise demand, which is very good. However, the news gets even better. Recently, the company Company's CEO said that cruise demand was, quote, as robust as we have ever seen it, and he forecasts that the company's profit will continue on throughout the next few years. All of this positive momentum caused this company's share price to jump up by around 20%, while also lifting the share prices of Carnival and Royal Caribbean, which are other cruise stocks. But this isn't all. I think investors not only need to be paying attention to cruise liners, but also airliners as well as hotels. It seems that travel is on the rise, which is going to be great news for all of these companies. So if you want to catch on to a rising trend, feel free to look into cruise stocks, airlines, and any travel stocks, including hotels. I personally am investing into a few of these companies in their respected markets, and I suggest that you do your own research to determine if you want to do the same. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Spirit Aerosystems, which has been gaining in their share price after reports that Boeing is in talks to acquire this company, which is a very interesting development. Recently, Spirit Aerosystems, ticker symbol SPR, jumped by as much as 19% in their share price after a report came out that Boeing could acquire this company. For context, Spirit Aerosystems is a jet fuselage supplier, and they actually have a lot of contracts with Boeing already. However, Spirit not only has contracts with Boeing, but they also have contracts with Boeing's rival named Airbus. However, what's really ironic about this is that Spirit Aerosystems was actually created back in 2005 when Boeing spun off its Wichita division and Oklahoma operations to a new entity. So Spirit Aerosystems was actually a part of Boeing at one point, and it seems that Boeing wants to buy them back. 
You should also know some of the background information here, because why would Boeing right now all of a sudden decide to want to acquire Spirit Aero Systems? Well, let's talk about it. According to the article, a potential Boeing deal comes after Spirit Aero Systems shares dropped by around 10% since early January after a mid-air crisis on a Boeing 737 MAX 9. If you recall, Spirit Aero Systems was actually a subcontractor for Boeing to create a certain piece of their 737 MAX 9. However, the door plugs which Spirit Aero Systems used in place of the emergency exit blew off mid-air shortly after takeoff. Therefore, there was a gaping hole in the fuselage of this aircraft which caused an emergency landing, and this happened on an Alaska Airlines flight. That's why since then, Boeing shares and Spirit Aero Systems shares have been plunging, so Boeing is taking this as an opportunity to buy back Spirit Aero Systems at a cheaper price, considering that their share price is plummeting. Now, I've already talked about why I actually like Boeing as a company, and I personally invest into them, but I'd love to hear your thoughts about this story down below. Earlier, we touched on Tesla, but now we want to talk about some of Tesla's competition from Chinese EV makers. Recently, electric vehicle deliveries from Chinese EV companies such as Li Auto Neo and Xpeng have fallen year over year. The main reason for this decline was due to the Lunar New Year holiday. So let's get into the delivery numbers for each of these companies, starting off with Xpeng. Xpeng reported deliveries in February of 4,545 vehicles, which approximates to a 24% decline. However, it seems that their stock is still stable for now, considering that they're up 2.2% in their share price, trading at around $9.64. However, I anticipate a further decline in the share price over the short term before they could potentially surge later on. Next up, let's talk about NEO's deliveries. NEO delivered 8,132 vehicles in February. While NEO is still up around 1.6% in pre-market trading, they currently trade around $5.84 per share. However, the company that is actually doing extremely well would be Li Auto. And if you see on screen here, you can see Xpeng, NEO, and Li Auto compared to one another in regards to their monthly deliveries. It is evident that Li Auto seems to have the clear advantage here, to where Xpeng is barely hanging on, and NEO is somewhere in the middle. So let's talk about Li Auto. According to the article, Li Auto delivered 20,251 vehicles, which was actually up 22% year over year. Meanwhile, their stock actually fell by 3.2% to around $44.40 per share. In my opinion, BYD and Li Auto are very strong electric vehicle companies if you would want to invest into foreign electric vehicle companies. However, I would also add that it is clearly safer to invest into US companies instead of companies that are overseas. But I do want to make investors aware that Chinese EV makers sold around 6 million all-battery electric vehicles during 2023, and according to analysts, that projection is anticipated to jump from 6 million to 7 million for the year of 2024. Therefore, I want investors to be aware of this trend because they could make money here. But overall, I would say Li Auto, NEO, and BYD are the strongest, or at least some of the strongest EV makers over in China. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down below. Next up, let's talk about the gigantic technology company named Apple, which recently fell in their share price due to Goldman Sachs removing them from their conviction list. Apple is known for their smartphones, also known as the iPhone, and they are also known for their personal computers. Recently, Apple, ticker symbol AAPL, recently fell by 0.5% in their share price, and here's why. The reason for this is that Goldman Sachs removed the tech giant from their conviction list of the best stocks to buy. However, I think Goldman Sachs is wrong here. It also seems that Goldman Sachs is disagreeing with themselves in some regard because they actually reiterated that Apple was a buying opportunity because they have a buy rating on this company, and they also increased their their price target from $223 up to $232. Overall, I am a heavy investor into Apple shares, and I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. But honestly, I'm going to continuously buy this company on a weakness. Our next story involves Plug Power, which is a hydrogen company. Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG, has soared by more than 20% heading into the company's fourth quarter earnings. But shares since then have plunged after the report was released. Now, you should also be aware that even though the company was uptrending and then they decreased because of their fourth quarter earnings, honestly, right now, they are making a huge comeback because of what the CEO has recently said. I want to give you some background information on this company because I believe that the future of electric
electric vehicles are actually going to be hydrogen electric vehicles. So they are going to be hybrid vehicles. And I also believe that hydrogen is going to be a huge source of energy for a future economy. Therefore, I am heavily investing into hydrogen companies, which I've talked about in previous videos. For me personally, my thoughts on Plug Power is that they are an extremely risky company. However, the future upside of this company is crazy. But first, let's get into what their CEO said. Originally, investors were extremely scared about the future of this company regarding management's comments that they issued during the third quarter report. Management said, and I quote, we continue to incur losses and might never achieve or maintain a profitability, end quote. And remember, that was in their third quarter. However, for the fourth quarter, some good news happened. Recently, the company said that it has concluded that there is no longer substantial doubt of the company's ability to continue as a going concern, which is great news for this company. However, to make matters even better, Plug Power has already reached an agreement with an investor to potentially issue another $1 billion worth of shares to raise capital. Therefore, it seems that this company will be able to survive until they reach profitability, considering that they do believe they will reach profitability from here on out. Also, they have pretty good projections because for the full year, Plug Power's revenue grew by 27% to $891 million, which was a new record for this company. But that's not all, because the CEO recently said this, and I quote, Recognizing the past challenges with cash management, we are dedicated in 2024 to bolstering our financial profile. Therefore, the company is trying to cut back on expenses and they have also laid off some of their employees. To where now they are going to save around $75 million per year due to these recent cutbacks. So after all of this news, some investors decided to take profits because they believed that that would be the best thing to do right now to practice proper risk management, and I honestly don't blame them. However, the future of this company does seem very interesting, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about Donald Trump and his media company, and this clearly has to do with stocks because this stock has been extremely volatile lately. According to the article, shares of Digital World Acquisition, ticker symbol DWAC, has shed more than 12% in their share price on Thursday after an impending merger with Trump Media and Technology Group, also known as TMTG. The reason why DWAC stock is falling, which is the company which will or could take Trump Media and Technology Group public, is because there has been allegations that TMTG tried to increase the number of shares in TMTG in an effort to dilute the ownership stake of its founding partners. The allegation is that TMTG attempted to increase the number of their shares from $120 million to $1 billion. But why is that a bad thing? Well, here's the problem. Originally, a group called United Atlantic Ventures were promised around 8.6% ownership in this company. But if the shares were to increase from $120 million to $1 billion, it would lower their overall power in this company down to just 1%. Therefore, it's essentially a pretty slimy thing to do according to them if these allegations are true. That means this is going to cause major volatility in the share price of this company, which is currently trading at around $37.34. And that would be in regards to DWAC, which is Digital World Acquisition, which is the company that could take TMTG public. That's why shares of this special purpose acquisition company are currently trending downwards to where they've already lost 9.28% in their share price. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about these allegations down below. Next up, let's talk about Fubo TV which actually beat on their revenue estimates, but despite that, their shares are falling right now. But first, let's talk about what this company even does. Fubo TV is a sports streaming service, and they recently topped quarterly revenue estimates, which is great news for this company. But despite the good news, their stock price is trending downwards. Fubo reported a fourth quarter adjusted loss of 17 cents per share, which is a narrower loss than what analysts estimated for, because they believed that the company would bring in a loss of 24 cents, but instead, they only brought in a loss of 17 cents which is good news. Likewise, the company also got good news in regards to the revenues, because analysts originally predicted that the company would only bring in $398 million, but they actually brought in $410.2 million, which is more good news. But despite this good news, in both their revenues, 
revenues and their earnings, the company's share price is still falling right now. In my opinion, this is just a classic example of investors being irrational. Because Fubo ended the quarter with 1.618 million subscribers in North America, which represents an increase of 12%. However, on the other hand, worldwide, they only have around 406,000 subscribers, which actually represents a decrease of around 3% in their growth rate. Meanwhile, the CEO had to say this about the recent results, and he says, and I quote, These results are especially impressive given the years-long challenges Fubo has faced as a result of what we believe have been anti-competitive practices by the Walt Disney Company, Fox Corporation, and Warner Bros. Discovery. If you recall in one of our previous news updates, Fubo is actually suing Walt Disney, Fox, and Warner Bros. Because Walt Disney, Fox, and Warner Bros. are trying to make one ultimate streaming service for sports. However, Fubo is suing because of, quote, extreme suppression of competition in the U.S. sports-focused streaming market and significant harm to both Fubo and consumers. Now, for me personally, I don't know if this is going to work out for Fubo or not, but if the lawsuit actually gains traction, this will cause their share price to absolutely explode. However, the opposite is also true. If Fubo loses this case, then their share price will continuously trend downwards. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. Lastly, let's talk about the stocks that you need to be paying attention to right now, starting off with none other than Eli Lilly, whose share price gained by around 1.5%. For context, I'm a huge supporter of Eli Lilly, ticker symbol LLY, because this is a pharmaceutical giant. The reason for the recent enthusiasm in the share price is because a Bank of America analyst increased their price target on Eli Lilly, ticker symbol LLY stock, to as high as $1,000. And this would represent a 32.7% upside in their share price from their current price, which is only around at $753.68, so this is great news for Eli Lilly. In other news, we saw Elon Musk actually file a lawsuit against OpenAI, according to Bloomberg News. Tesla is suing OpenAI for allegedly putting profits ahead of benefiting humanity. However, I actually don't think that this lawsuit is going to stick. However, I am still going to continuously invest into Tesla as well as Microsoft, which has been one of the heavy investors in OpenAI, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about this lawsuit down below. Lastly, Warner Bros. Discovery, ticker symbol WBD, has garnered some attention from investors, and here's why. Warner Bros. is an entertainment company, and they recently released Dune Part 2. According to the article, the movie is expected to reignite the domestic box office, which has been struggling so far during 2024, to where this movie could bring in anywhere between $70 million and $80 million. Therefore, this should reflect very positively on entertainment stocks, specifically Warner Bros. Discovery, ticker symbol WBD. With that being said, I'd love to hear your thoughts about any or all of these stories, subscribe if you are new, smash the like button right now for more videos just like this one, and I'll see you in the next YT video.